So, hello and good morning. I am sick. I'm not feeling well. But I'm not gonna record this video for learning purposes. I'm gonna show what I know for our beloved dev menu. So, once you have a dev menu, you go to your dev menu. There's some sections as you can see. 3, 6, 9, 10 sections. First section is game cheats. All of them are the same in each dev menu. Depending. Because most menus have just the name changed. So go by feeling. Like, you know that the XP is gonna be here, storage here. That kind of stuff. You Most of the times you know it, you press it, you're done with it. Secondly, game cheats is uh, the panel you're gonna be using the most if you really wanna cheat in the game. You have these uh, commands that did not work as per usual. They only work like in Wii mode. You have adding all skills, which I do not recommend doing it. Restoring your health, or, or also if you can see the letters on the side. Press the button, the key by itself, let's say drop health. I'm gonna press P and I will have no health to on. And I'll go and press H. I'm gonna restore it back. You see my health is full. The ammo, money, this should not be pressed. Q first aids, which is useless for me. Uh, effects on the weapons. PvP on, PvP off. You can kill the human if you press PvP on. I can slice my teammate, kill my teammate. But the thing is that if I do that and he kills me with PvP on, I'm dead myself. I'm gonna die instantly. I cannot be self revived and I cannot self revive my teammates if I have PvP on. Force climb animation is how fast you climb animation. How much the dialogue light, how much the shine, they shine, the lights shine. Forge character is when you something I'm gonna show later, but it's how you can be like a zombie. You can turn yourself into a night hunter, which most time, uh, most of the times it's useless because in the human save you will not turn yourself into a night hunter. It will corrupt your save. It will make it useless. You cannot use it. You will not have basic things that the save has. It's dead. Anyway, grab the ledges, you grab them faster, you grab them slower. Grab on, yes. Hanging from the ledge, on, you can hang, off, you cannot hang, for example. You see? I'm not pressing anything, I'm just grappling. But it doesn't hang, you see? It doesn't hang, it cannot hang. But these are useless anyways. You're not gonna be using it. Third person, I'm under the map. Third person, don't use that unless you want to. And I'm under the map again. All right. If you will teleporting, infection. These things you should not be using them anyways. Show animations, anti wall is just animations in general. Bugs and shit. You should not uh, be using this. Anyways. Client. Now. Oh my god. Alright, and as you can see, I can change the water by using these things and the time as well. In the client menu, you have the objects, the graphics let's say. I can remove these things and the game changes completely. I remove sky, trains, debugs and shit. There's also free camera that you can use to like teleport somewhere 
<sighs> to teleport, you need to press on the free camera to be on. And just choose at the place you wanna be. And press R on the game sheets. And it's gonna reset you there in that point. But anyway, you're not gonna be using this that much. And the item section is the weapons, rifles, melees, axes, everything as a weapon, item, upgrades, clickers, kings, medkits, upgrades, materials, algae, you see. You can choose whatever you want. The most. Hello, who is it? Hello. Uh, yeah. Hello. The most. Uh, one second. I'm doing something. The most common weapon is the Dao, the dark uh, machete, the dark sickle, the phosphor axe, axes and shit. But you'll find them. It doesn't matter. You just need a lot of time. In the hey. events, you can like uh, teleport. This is the teleport. Like jump to previous location. You can spawn. Closer to the nest, faster to the nest, closer to the human. Here we have the scenarios, which is the invasions. When you want to reset the game, you press spawn leave the scenario, and then you have events, different events like random mission, airdrops. There's also patrol events, prime events, zombie event. And yeah, it doesn't really matter using these, just only this if you want to reset the game. Then you have the XP, which is the XP as it says. I don't really use it, doesn't matter. For experience, I mostly gonna like um, for the 900 because I'm not like. As you can see, like, this is the prestige level up is for the hunter, mostly it's a level up like a mutation. Level up will give you mutation. Uh, unlock the appearances, reputation doesn't matter, status doesn't matter. XP how much you want, or add XP, or just level up, I prefer level up, level type, what level you wanna use, and we got invaded, no we did not, it was, sorry, it was the mission, <laughs> storage as a human works, as a hunter doesn't, you have a storage, outfits, doesn't matter, who gives a shit, nice shit, you have the missions, doesn't matter, the inventory, is the inventory, why press that, you can press I, and collectibles, which don't really matter. Well, collectibles are usually m blueprints, uh, maps, and oh my god, yeah, it's uh, not really important unless you go for a blueprint. Let's say you start a new save and you want some things. Let's say I want the custom blueprint for like uh, the ranger arrows. I'm gonna here go here and find it. You see, like there's collected and not collected. They're not collected. Is the ones I will go search. Totally, totally an eye hunter. Yeah, totally an eye hunter. Let me get rid of the nest. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, that was what I was trying to do. Yo, easy uh, way to get a. Easy, GG will play. Yeah, we GG will play. Yo, this hunter is so bad. This, this hunter is so bad, bad, bro. But yeah, that's uh, the dev menu in a nutshell. Hope I helped. Bye.